tears my heart into pieces that South Africa, Mozambique, Zambia, Malawi and Botswana are now countries in Southern Africa who are racing to the top while Zimbabwe is on a race to the bottom. This breaks my heart and makes me realize we're not having enough of a conversation on how to solve the economic challenges. What we're experiencing is a deflationary depression, which is about the worst place you can exist in economics. No textbook can tutor about this economic apocalypse. So step one of the Lumumba recovery plan is macroeconomic stability. How do you do this? Address the fiscal deficits. Address that we are spending way out of control. We cannot keep kicking the can down the road. This is an area which is one of the major contributors to the collapse of the economy. And unless we pop a proper bevel injection now, it will be like standing by for a cardiac arrest to take course. It is painful, but we have to cut the civil service. It is a cancer. We have to cut the reckless borrowing and senseless spending. Before we borrow more money as a government, let's understand how did we end up defaulting on the last facility. We're playing Jenga with debt. You know the game, the one where you take the chips at the bottom and replace the one at the top until it all falls apart. You don't borrow six billion on top of five billion without a plan on how to pay it all back. The truth is, government is borrowing money that has to be paid back in 25 years when the people who borrowed it will not be there to pay it. It's us young people who will have to pay this money back. Sequentially, government officials are eating and living in five-star restaurants and hotels with all their children and relatives only to leave your family to settle the bill. And if you fail to pay back the money, the consequences are on you. We are supposed to live within our means. Let's restore the rule of law, capital like stability and predictability. Government must get out of the way and allow privacy in the private sector. Property rights have to be respected simple. Just because you want someone's company, it doesn't mean you can take it away from them. We have to revisit the question of land reform. Sabani Mashavabe Mine, Zisco Steel, Telesel, Marange, Dunlop Jambanja takeovers. These are hard conversations, but we can't run away from them anymore. Our Reserve Bank has to bring back a strong local currency backed by real confidence. Lower the interest rates, not this Chimbazo behavior taking place in the banking sector. You have to redistribute the wealth and close the gap between the rich and the poor through cutting taxes that simply have now become an undeserved paycheck to government. Debt restructuring. This addresses how everyone who has a debt can realistically actually pay it back. Most of the collateral that was used to get these loans has since depreciated and the market is now flooded. Financial inclusion. The banking sector has become a dragon, built to accommodate an economy that no longer exists. Its services and products are no longer for you. It's too hard to open an account, service the account, borrow on the account, too many fees charged on the account by banks and now designed only to make profits for them and nothing at all for the depositor. Finally, we have to mobilize capital from non-banking sources. Let's evaluate the asset base of the country, from natural resources to human resources to market value to attractability. Capital like space. Move government offices to Bulawayo and see if that won't springboard the businesses. Turn Victoria Falls and Kariba and Wangi into special economic zones with offshore status like Hong Kong, Macau. And uh, if America can create a Disneyland, why can't we create our own interpretation of it? Use the math to put a figure on our worth and start making deals that are based on data and intelligence. Open the playing field and money will come. People with money to invest want to know that the money is safe. Open the markets and let capital compete. Our ministers have all the power but no exposure. And that combination is dangerous. Let's save ourselves from that. I want to thank you very much for the journey that we have traveled together. But remember, none of this can happen until young people decide to register to vote. I don't have all the answers. That's why I want to know yours. And Viva Zimbabwe is the political party that provides the answers.